I managed to get my first job in the UK just under two weeks of being here. If you want to know how I did it, please keep on watching. Hi, my name is Poppy and I have created this channel to share with you anything London, anything UK from an eye of someone who relocated here. Now today we are going to talk Korea. Before we start, I just want to give you a bit of background about myself just for the context. I'm originally from Thailand and within the first two weeks of moving to the UK, I managed to get my very first job. I've been changing a fair few jobs after since and I've been living in London for about three years now. I also managed to land my very first job in London just under three weeks as well. So the tips I am sharing with you today are the ones that I have always been using and give me a good result in terms of searching for job in the UK. First and foremost, when looking for a job, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to have a polished CV. I mean, your CV is the first thing that the recruiters or the hiring manager will see. So in a way, you want your CVs to be as professional as possible. As a non-native English speaker myself, having a perfect CV or, you know, all the grammars perfected was rather difficult. So my first advice to you is to have your CV reviewed and rewritten by a native English speaker. Now this tip might be a bit controversial and I know there might be people out there who might not be agreeing with this but if you're looking for a job in a very competitive environment such as big city as London, you want to be putting your A game out there. Some of the websites that you can use to finding an independent contractor to review and rewrite your CVs are peopleperhour.com which this is the one that I have actually used or there is another one called fiverr.com I'll put all the links down below so that you can click on them when you choose for the one to review your CV just look at the reviews that they have choose the one with decent reviews good reviews and the one that can offer the price that will fit your budget. Now I understand that in this economic downturn you might not be wanting to spend a hundred of pounds on you know someone to rewrite your CV. If that is the case then the next best thing you can do is probably have your CV reviewed by someone who is a native English speaker and preferably British because you'll be looking for a job in the UK. Now that you have your perfect CV, the next thing to do is look for a place that you can, can apply for a job. Now I'll break this down in three different um, websites or categories where you can um, look for a job. First one is job seeking websites. So there are loads out there but in the UK, the most popular one will be Monster. Um, read.co.uk and um, CV library. So these are the ones that people normally use. On these websites, from my observation, the majority of the job postings will be from recruiters, but from time to time the companies hiring managers or HR directors are posting the available vacancies on there as well. Just make sure that you upload your CV on there and then you mark yourself as looking for opportunities. Now the second one which I find recently has been very helpful is LinkedIn. I think now LinkedIn has LinkedIn jobs as well, specifically for people who are looking for work. Make sure your LinkedIn profile as polished as possible so that when the recruiters look at your profile they think mm, this is a good candidate. Two advantages of using LinkedIn is that with LinkedIn itself the recruiters or hiring managers can send you an in-mail so I feel like that's quicker than having the recruiters to find your CV on job searching website, look at your CV, find a telephone number and give you a call. It's just much easier for them to reach out to you. Secondly, most companies, recruiters and hiring managers are already going to be on LinkedIn. And if you're registered in LinkedIn as well, once there is any vacancy available that might suit your past experience, LinkedIn will be sending that notification into your email. So in a way, it helps you to be informed in jobs opening more quickly and then it helps you to be one of the first applicants to be applying for that job. Now the third way that you can try, this one I I haven't tried myself but I know someone who has tried and has success in it is contacting the company directly if you know the kind of company that you want to be working for for example and I believe like big companies for example Google Facebook um, some big tech firm if you know you want to be working for these people just go on their website look for their career page and see if there's any job opening now that you got your CV ready and now that you know where to apply for the job here comes how my personal preference and something I've been doing since day one of looking for a job in the UK and it's worked for me is tailor your cover letter I know that there's a lot of people that don't do it but the thing is 
recruiters and hiring managers do get loads and loads and loads of applications in one day what you want to be doing is stand out and focus on the quality and focus on the response rate now how to do this first read through the job descriptions very carefully and in the job description itself pick out some keywords that contain in that particular job description what you want to be doing is include some of those keywords into your cover letter because we have to admit it like when these recruiters get loads of applications what they do is they just skim through applications to the next applications and what do they looking for some keywords so make sure that you include those keywords in there in your cover letter so that it will make you stand out even more secondly what you can also do is in the job description in the details of the job look for a contact person look for a name of the contact person address them properly in your cover letter that shows effort and they would like that now some of you might be saying but poppy that is time wasting i'm applying for like loads of jobs i don't have time to do that fine i understand pick out some of the jobs that you really really want to get let's say if you apply for 50 pick out about like 15 or 20 that you really want to get the job for and just tailor your cover letter for those ones and the ones that you kind of think mm, may, maybe yes maybe no just send out the generic cover letter okay so what i've mentioned so far is the process where you look for the job and apply for the job but what about after applying for the job what happens after that personally if there's a job that i really want to get an interview for i would do follow-up so my follow-up would be a couple of days after. I wouldn't even wait for a week after. Why? Because you just don't know. Some application process actually do have a quick turnaround. So after a couple of days after applying for the job, you want to be reaching out to the person um, that you apply for a job to. Now guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope these tips are helpful. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you next time. Kopunka.